Hello everybody, how are you? I'm going to be doing an update today on the Apto Skin Care Antioxidant Mist as well as the Rimmel Lash Accelerator Serum so I can show you what's been going on since before I started using either one of them and now how things are going. After I get finished doing the update, I'm going to do a kind of a quick get ready with me with the morphe 35m one of my favorite prezzies of all time and i'm going to show people how i've been doing my whole face makeup using mostly cream products and have been for about three weeks now and i know some people are just terrified at the idea of cream products but I have been playing with this for three weeks and I'm having a blast. All I'm wearing is moisturizer, the cream products, and um, some face powder. Now, the moisturizer that I have on, well, actually it's two moisturizers. One of them, which is an SPF 50 on top of just the moisturizing. Both moisturizers have a slight tint. Both of them are from e.l.f and it's enough to even out my skin tone and i'm thinking that's going to be pretty much what i do most of the summer at this point just a little something something to even out the skin tone and then slap some eyes and a mouth on and go on about my business because i live in the high desert it gets a mite warm I've also got something I'm going to be trying out a little bit later into the hot weather, which is the Zero Sweat um, Face and Body Antiperspirant. So, you know, if you're one of those people who just sweats at the drop of a hat, whether it's your hands or your feet or your face, this helps. You put it on. It stops the sweating or at least mostly controls it. Yes, it's an aluminum product. Yes, I know, people are screaming and running from aluminum products. However, when you sweat so bad that your face looks like you're taking a shower and all you did was walk from your back door to your car You'll take any help you can get. I'll let you know how that goes when I actually start using it. Anyway, let's go play. Hope you enjoyed the updates on the Apto Skin Care Antioxidant Mist and the Rimmel Lash Accelerator Serum. Anyway, now I'm trying to get into the get ready, ready with me part. And I'm going to try and do this kind of quick just because where I am it's getting a little on the late side. I'm at 9 o'clock already. Which means most of the rest of you on the other side of the Pacific timeline going back east are, should be in bed. <laughs> anyway, I just thought I'd play with some stuff because I feel like playing with some stuff. 
and we will see where it goes from there. I've got the Morphe 35M out. I've been having a lovely time playing with this thing ever since my friend gifted it to me. Now, I've got a bunch of other um, palettes that I've been working with because I went slightly nuts with Shop Hush going under. By the way, I went to Shop Hush just before I started this video, and even though there are some pictures left on the website, if you click on any of them, it pops up and says sold out. There is nothing left that you can get from the website. I don't know if there's anything left on the mobile app, but going by desktop to the website, they ain't nothing. Nothing. Now, I made out like a bandit going to that website several times while they were closing down. I mean, I kept it between 15 and 20 bucks, and at the point they were at with some of the sales and such, that was coming up with three to four pallets at a time, and I'm going, whoa. So yeah, I went from one or two with a lot of, of Dollar Tree stuff and that kind of thing to several pallets. And we'll see where we go from there but I'm, I'm going to start using those palettes and doing some videos with those palettes instead of just letting them sit um, I'm rather happy with the palettes that I've gotten and I want to do stuff with them yeah I know strange concept right right anyway I figured before I embarked on that, I'd do a few more plays with the Morphe 35M, just because. Mainly just because I like it. It's a pretty palette. Very pretty. And I like playing with color. It's more fun that way. Color is good. Color is wonderful. Anyhow. So, what have y'all been doing? It's Sunday. You're getting ready for another week. I know, I know. Monday. April 1st. Anybody working out in the public is going to have to put up with the April foolishness all day. I'm sorry. Yes, I'm lucky. I get to sit here in the house. However, if you want to be that kind of lucky, that means you have to be too ill to work with the public. And I'm not sure the trade-off is really worth it. I'm really not. Not that I don't love you guys and doing this, but, you know, I'm still new enough at this that I'm not making anything. So, yeah. There are some drawbacks to being on the tube when you're still new. I'm hoping by the time my social security is ready to kick in, I've got about, let's see, about two years and three months before I can apply, so yeah. I hope I'll be making something to work with that'll supplement that really small shady bit of money, especially since our politicians are trying to cut that. And it's like, excuse me, I paid for this. 
every working day of my life from the time I started taking W-2 jobs. I have paid for this. This is not your play money. No, I don't have any strong opinions about that kind of thing at all. No. Not me. Anybody who hasn't already figured out I have some strong opinions about things has not been paying attention. Because I have a few that probably would annoy some people. But that's okay. That's why there's so many channels to look at. Eventually you find somebody who doesn't irritate you so much that you're ready to turn them off. Alrighty. I like that. It's kind of a nifty cranberry shade. Yeah, like I mentioned in the update with the Apto mist, even my crepey eyelids are looking better. So, yeah, that's definitely on my keep it in stock repurchase list. That is not getting away from me. Now, I'm going to put a bit of glitter glue. Well, glitter primer in here because I've got two shades of glitter that I want to use. Wipe off the thinner. And then pick up this one. And I'm going to start I will have the actual names of the Morphe colors I am using on the description. If I forget, feel free to comment and go, Yo, woman, where's the info? you like what I did because if somebody wants to try to do with the same colors I use I would be happy to go through and pull them up and let you know if I forget to put them on the description box okay now let me pick up this other color before that glitter glue dries down too much. I'm just picking it up on the back side of that same brush. And it's basically just a paler version of the glitter I put in the center. This is pretty well on with the glitter glue. I'm going to go back over those colors with a slightly dampened brush. And see if I can't just 
，我用我的鬼魔。After all, shiny shimmery stuff should be shiny and shimmery as much as humanly possible. Shiny and shimmery. And if that means a little spritz here and there, what the heck? Go for it. I think I like that. Bright and shiny. I'll carry some of that right on down here. Yes, I know. I'm going under my eye before I've done the rest of my face. Yeah. Well. There you go. Who, me? Smile at me? Come on, you people. If I wasn't a smart aleck, you'd wonder what I did with me. You'd be going, all right, who are you, and what did you do with Anne? It's part of my charm. No, no, just keep telling yourself that. It's part of her charm. It'll help you a lot to think of it that way. Alrighty. Now, let us do this another time. Pick it up. Start patting it in. Load, 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 load. My husband's going to shoot me in a minute because that song is going to get stuck in his head. <laughs> He's got an electric grill and he's not afraid to use it. He was holding it up over the top of the screen and so I could see that he was armed and dangerous. just belched like a bloody sailor. And he's a little ten pound dog. Oh. Anyway. So, how is your week going? How are you planning to spend your week? Being the first week of April for this year. Yes, March is like come and gone and done it in a hurry. So now we hear we hear we sit at the beginning of April trying to get ready for Easter and the flowers and let's see back where I'm from. Everybody's trying to get ready to go see the cherry blossoms at the Tidal Basin in D.C. 
That's a big tourist attraction. Big tourist attraction. People are watching, waiting for the flowers to get ready to pop. Making sure everybody that's interested has their updates on the condition of the buds. Make sure they're all getting themselves ready for the cherry blossom parade and a good place to sit finding all the good places to actually view the cherry blossoms from. If they've got a little bit of money, they started booking the little boat tours and that kind of thing. Now, I will tell you, being a resident of that area, during cherry blossom time you don't want to try to get into DC on the weekends it's bad enough when you try to get into DC during the weekdays during commu commuter hours if you are a tourist let me explain something Stay off the metro until after rush hour. I know. You want to try and get a head start. Stay off the metro until after rush hour. Because if the metro train is determined to break down, it will do it during rush hour. If, excuse me. It is the way of things. That is how it will happen. Trust me. Until I moved to Florida four, five years ago now, because we've been here almost a year, when I moved to Florida, I had spent my entire life within minutes of D.C. I was born within minutes of of DC in Old Town Alexandria Virginia I know what DC traffic is like and I'm telling you stay off the dang subway <laughs> until after rush hour because there are some lumpy commuters And they are packed in like frickin' sardines. If you have stuff that you want to keep, that you are going to carry in your pockets when you are on a subway train, make sure it's very good and you've got tight pockets. Do not trust that if you get too many bumps on the train that you will have your wallet when you get off the train. Now, I want to explain to you. I understand these people are just trying to make a living. However, I really object to them taking a living from somebody else who's just trying to take make a living. Which are mostly the people riding the subways. So, yeah. Anyway. It's one of those. How it works, it's how it happens. Now, what I'm putting over here on my little palette is the Elf 
Beauty Shield Antioxidant Enriched Skin Protection SPF 50 Skin Shielding Moisturizer. Okay, okay. It's got a slight tint to it. And then I'm going to take some of the e.l.f. Tinted Moisturizer SPF 20 sunscreen and squirt a little bit of that on my palette. It's got aloe, cucumber, vitamins A, C, and E. And I take my brush and kind of mix that all together mainly because I just want to get them pretty much homogenous for the colors and get the brush so that I can just do one of these. Now technically this is just moisturizer with a little tint to it. I'm okay with that. I've been wearing this for this combo for about three weeks now. Which means, yeah, I'm going to have to get some more of both moisturizers because they're kind of small. Plus, if you're trying to put on something that's sunscreen to get a proper coating of it on, that's enough to do you any good, you're using a fair amount. You know, one little squirt is not going to do it. And if you don't believe me, look it up. You have to have about a tablespoon of product to put on your skin to get the sunscreen protection on your face that it says on the container. So that's quite a bit of product to stuff on one face, which is why I just use two moisturizers instead of trying to do it with you know a lot of moisturizer and then foundation and let's not forget the primers and all this other stuff but this is likely to be one of my go-to's as we get farther into the summer There is not a lot of coverage. You can still see red stuff right here, and right here, and right here on this cute little nose. I've got this adorable little button nose. And yeah, it's going to stay a little bit redder than some people may like. If you choose to put more coverage on, that's up to you. Everybody's got their own level of coverage that they prefer. This is not news. Alrighty. Now, I keep telling people that I've been doing a lot of cream products recently. And it kind of is, it starts off with those two moisturizers and then goes from there. Now this is the e.l.f. sorry about the blinding light but it's the e.l.f. brow duo. It's got a kind of a wax here and a shade powder here and I've got one of them funky little tiny round brushes the little toothbrush style and for me 
could switch back and forth because I've got the straight line with the spoolie. I kind of switch back and forth though because it just, I do. I'm not entirely sure why, I just, I do. But this one, once I get the front filled in, it's just basically one stroke through the hairs that are growing in towards the end here. And I've got pretty good a pretty good shape and coverage. And then once I get that wax down, pick up the powder and go over it. See, I put that wax just a little bit in front there to fill in towards the front. And then drag it back through the rest of the eyebrow where I've got the wax. And it makes a pretty decent shape. And for the most part, it's not usually too heavy. Yes, my Lash Accelerator Serum from Rimmel that I've been using also on my eyebrows is definitely making a difference. If you skip through the update portion at the beginning, shame on you. But if you watched it, you saw that there has been some definite improvement. It's not fast. It's not just, you know, all over the place. I don't have, you know, like <clears throat> bushy eyebrows, but they're definitely better than they were when I first started doing this back in August last year. And my eye eyes were nearly naked. My eyebrows were really bad. Now this is going to get interesting because, you see, I forgot to put on the eye primer. Y'all didn't remind me. This is not nice. You're just trying to trip me up. Anyway, now that I've got that bit on, I've got the AOA Studio contour stick that I got. This was a dollar. Love you, AOA Studio. And just, you know, run a little bit here and there. I'm not going for a lot of contour and that kind of stuff because, let's be real, yeah, it looks a little better in the pictures if it looks like I've done, you know, a little bit of work to kind of shape my face. But at my weight, they can tell I have a fat face. I'm not fooling anybody. Alrighty. I'm going to do a little bit of this here. I've got a fairly shallow bridge to my nose and it kind of, this area kind of disappears when I got my glasses on and since I don't have contacts yet it'll be going on just as soon as I'm finished and what I end up doing is I take some of that contour and kind of sculpt this area along the side of my nose with the contour and put a little shadow there. And then I, when I put the highlighter down, down the center of my nose, it stands out better and makes it look like this area is not quite so shallow. Now, let's see. I've got a couple of things here 
that I've been combining to create a bronzer. I would like to find a bronzer stick that makes me happy that's like the Wet n Wild highlighter, but I haven't found one that makes me happy yet. So, I take my um, Elf Cream Blush, and there's one that's pretty good. Pretty good. As kind of a bronzer tone. Got my little sponge. And I kind of give it a twist here and there. But then I also use the LA Colors bronzer stick that I've got that's kind of narrow but this kind of browns it down a little more put a little bit of that across here do that kind of thing set that down pick up my little sponge warm up the edges of the face there and then I take another one of my little round brushes and I start kind of brushing it around so it's not as thickly laid in one place Now, the one problem with doing this, like this, is that when I rub anything on my face, it gets red again for a bit. My skin just is that way. Now, there's another kind of a peachy color in here that I take another sponge and kind of dab it through here to bring up another lighter layer of color through that area. Even tap a little along here. Make sure I've got my face warmer going. And I take that same brush and kind of do one of these. little circles just to kind of finish doing the warm up on the face from there is where I get the highlighter stick out And kind of dab it a little here. And a little over here. And over here. And right there. And right there. And a little down the nose. And a little on the Cupid's bow. And a little in here. Just for the heck of it. And then, I take a little different brush and kind of blend it out just a little bit so it's not like just sitting there like a wad with the cream stuff. Now, if I'm going to a party or something, I am very likely to be very blingy. I like bling. But for just hanging out or going to the grocery store, 
or going thrift shopping, I don't get quite so blingy. It's basically if the light hits it, you're going to get some glow. Like that. Only other thing I do with my face at this point, because of the moisturizers and all the cream products, is I grab up my e.l.f. powder. And yeah, that's a serious case of hit the pan. So I've got another one in, in hand to carry on. And I literally just dab it. I don't get crazy and start swirling everything. I just kind of dab it around. And believe me, it's not going to hide the shine on the highlighter. See, because you turn and you still got shine here. Shine, 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 shine through here. It's just a little something to put kind of a, a top coat over that moisturizer. Now, I've been using this, like I said, for about three weeks. And it's been getting kind of warm around here. Just a bit. And I have not had any problem with sweat off to the point where I've had, you know, to repair everything. Which, for me, is just like an amazing thing. I'm going to work my mascara. Get that all together. Use my little skinny masky for down in the bottom lashes. That is still my favorite thing, is that little skinny mascara to get into those bottom lashes. And I'm going to use this fancy Wander mascara. And no, I am not putting eyeliner. I'm not inclined to put eyeliner currently. I think my eyes have enough going on. You don't have to do every last thing every time. the only way you're going to be able to tell what the lash accelerator has done for my eyelashes but for that you're going to have to go back to some of my earlier films and look at how puny my eyelashes were even with decent mascara on they were pitiful I think I have enough stuff going on on these eyelids without worrying about eyeliner. Now, let's see. That's the one. It's like, okay, yeah. It's a cranberry color. It's spring. But I'm playing with cranberries. Guess what? I've got this lovely lipstick that's called Cranberry Mix.
that I'm going to put on with it. And call it good. Okay. Now, remember, stay out of trouble. Be good.